welcome back to another episode of the Ben Thomas Show. Thanks for coming back. Today I found a hidden gem in Airdrie, Alberta, Canada. This place is called Treasure Cove Collectibles. Now it's tucked away. If you don't know what's here, you might not find it. But inside is literally a treasure trove of cool stuff. I can't wait to bring you guys through this location. Now, just like every other store I've been to, there are going to be things that I have to skip over, have to miss, because there's just so much stuff in here. I'd be here for hours. But let's get into it, because like, right through the front door, and I apologize for the sunny window here, it gets a little bit better for the visuals coming up. There's art prints. There's this random gumball machine, which is really, really cool. Darth Vader up on the window. God, I love to see it. You love to just absolutely see it. I'm so excited to look in these random cases and see what I find. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that uh, He-Man Christmas special back there. That's neat. The Rocketeer figure. I'm confident I had that as a kid. That's pretty cool. Ooh, we got Batman the Animated Series playing cards in there. Now, of course, I'm always on a toy hunt for Batman the Animated Series, pretty much anything. So these are on my radar. I did pop my head in and ask the store manager here uh, if she knew of any figures in the, in the store. She wasn't too sure, so I'm just gonna have to hunt for them myself. The Simpsons characters were pretty cool. I'll dig that. Some random packs of Lego in here. Huh, interesting. I think the cool thing so far that I'm already liking about this store is it's definitely a little bit more on the thrifty side, right? It's one of those locations that clearly turns its stock over pretty consistently. They obviously buy certain collections uh, from other collectors and then sell them as collections. Clearly once they're gone, they're gone and they have to bring in different stock. Oh, look at that, eh? Interesting. bunch of stuff in here today I think I'm not even going to recognize myself now it's not just toys in here as you can see there's buttons there's old helmets there's coins there's Pokemon cards there's figures books movies video games like it goes on and on it's crazy even pops in here which you love to see of course I'm always looking for the, the unique pops of course so if I see any that really stand out I'll definitely highlight them in the video oh I'm excited to show you guys this figure wall coming up even this random assortment of knives in here like again if you're looking for a cool looking pocket knife good chance you're gonna find one in here now up top there's some obviously some specialized items I 100% had those turtle vans back in the day and I played with them like crazy. It's cool to see them back in like real life again, like within reach. Would I buy them now? Ah, probably not. I don't know if I'd have a collection space for them, but still very, very cool. Transformer up there was really cool. Oh, we got some old school wrestlers. Now I like what they've done here. Clearly these are opened packages, but whoever's collection this store has bought them from obviously still kept that back card. So if you still wanted it, you can have it. Check out these Jurassic Park figures. Now this takes me back. In fact, uh, the Jeff Goldblum character that I've got up here on the right uh, in the video, I actually still have that figure in my collection. I did a recent toy box uh, opening in my at my room here, in my collection room uh, on the channel, and he was in there. That's pretty cool to see that in brand new condition again. They have a lot of Jurassic Park stuff here. Ah, here we go, and some Ninja Turtles. Darkwing Duck and Space Jam as well. Wow, I have not seen those Space Jam figures in a really long time. I wanna say like, I'm going on like 20 years. Oh, look at that, he's got a gun under the counter. Damn. So much random stuff in the store. Old school cars. Oh, nice, the Supernatural car. That's interesting. I read somewhere that they had, I think, something upwards of seven uh, different vehicles that they used for that show throughout the series. Pretty cool. World at War. Interesting. Now we've got some loose turtles figures under here now as well. Now these are obviously the ones from back in the day. Confident that I had 90% of these in my collection at one point. 
Do I have any of them now? Like one. <laughs> it's the worst part about getting older and garage sales, right? Your mom suddenly takes the box. <gasps> wow, that Raptor right there. Sorry, I got a little excited there. That Raptor, I used to carry this guy around with me everywhere. He was my favorite dinosaur. I might actually have to grab that today. I, I, I feel like I need that back in my collection room. I have no idea what ever actually happened to it. Oh, some of the old school Transformers here? That's pretty cool. Also some really random Star Wars items. Interesting. Now, the cool thing about this store is that they do ship online to all over the world. Uh, of course, you have to pay for the shipping cost, whatever that ends up being. But if there's anything here in the video that you see, definitely reach out to this store. You can find them on Google, of course, um, for their phone number. I don't know if they have a website. I did forget to ask. Uh, but all of these things can be shipped as long as you're willing to pay the shipping cost. So if there's anything here that you see that you just desperately need for your own collection, definitely worthy of reaching out to this store. Oh, I like the Darth Vader lunchbox. You could put your weed in there. <laughs> now they have a whole wall of comics. They also have boxes of comics, boxes of records. I'm not going to go through all those today, guys, because again, I'd be here for hours. <laughs> but if you want me to come back and look for anything specifically after you've seen the video, keep me posted. Look at the John Lennon figure up there. That's random. Very cool. We've got some records in the back. Some amazing Spider-Man comics up here on the front side. Some nice cover art, actually. These books seem like they're actually in really, really good condition, considering. Ooh, I really like that cover with Daredevil there. That's really cool, actually. That one may have to come home with me today. I, yeah, I like that. I just love comic artwork. I feel like I need some guidance, though. You know, any of my friends out there, or any of you listening, if you're hardcore comic book fans, you know, tell me what I should look for when I'm rooting through comics. If there's anything that's a standout. You know, I love Hulk. I love Spider-Man. I love The Punisher. I love Daredevil. There's a lot. And uh, obviously, there's some good ones here uh, right off the hop. But again, I don't want to go through every one of them. If you guys are comic fans, let me know. I'll come back. I want to kind of keep an eye on the cases today and look a little bit more at the toys and the figures and some of the other random accoutrements that the store has to offer. <laughs> what is in here? Okay, random plates and stuff. Not my bag, baby. Mutant monsters. Look at that. Sugar man. Jesus. That's how I feel after a chocolate bar. What else do we got? Old license plates up top. That's kind of cool. Some of these I don't recognize. Some of the anime. My buddy Dean over at Collecting Weekly would probably be able to give me some education. But this wall catches my eye. The police academy figure. That's funny. But then let's take a look underneath here, because like, geez, we got Bruce Willis Die Hard. Now, I don't think that looks really anything like Bruce Willis, but it's a cool figure. Halo 3. What else do we have? I don't recognize those two. Full transparency. This Hulk is really cool. I really like that figure. It's a little pricey, though. I'm surprised, actually. But again, these are old figures, right? So clearly, you know, this is a collection, again, that some somebody has sold to the store. That's really cool. I love the old school box art on these figures. That is a decent Spider-Man too. Secret Wars, very nice. The Black Cat. This Carnage, oh, and I had this set guaranteed because I remember having that Spider-Man specifically in my collection. No idea what happened to them. Oh, that Prowler is decent too. I really, really like that Prowler. Radioactive spider armor. Very nice. I do need a Spider-Man to go with my 
Marvel Legends Venom, but I'd be worried that some of these are maybe too on the small side or too cartoony looking. The other problem is, is I also wouldn't want to take these out of the packages, like they're in really good shape. Some X-Men, X-Force. That old 90s Spider-Man cartoon. That shit was my jam back in the day. Same with X-Men. Loved it. Never was a huge Fantastic Four fan. You know, that might be sacrilegious for anybody listening. I apologize. Uh, Fantastic Four, just, I think I, I missed it. I think it was, you know, for me, again, it was X-Men, Batman the Animated Series, Spider-Man. These are cool. Oh, I love that 90s packaging like that. So cool. Yeah, this is a decent little collection. Some random comic covers below the shelf with all those uh, those figures. Oh, Submariner, Strange Tales. Cool. I'm looking forward to the introduction of Submariner in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I don't know much about the character, I'm not going to lie. Full transparency, but looks interesting. Uh, my fiancé thinks he really looks interesting, so I mean, <laughs> uh, might be in for some competition there. Gonna have to start hitting the gym so I look like Namor when I get out of the pool, but I told her no promises. Some of these I don't really know what they are. Archie, Riverside, like I know I've heard of them, but not not for me. Ooh, Secret of the Ooze. It's an old looking book. Kinda cool. Very awesome. I just recently reviewed the Neck and Ninja Turtles, the seven inch line on my channel, and they are still easily some of my favorite figures in my collection. And I collect six scale most of the time, so I feel like that's saying something. They are really, really cool little figures. Again, I'm kind of blasting through some of these. I apologize if it seems a little on the fast side. There's just so much in this store to see. So I want to kind of, again, focus more on the figures and the collectibles. But as you can see, if you are especially local, I definitely recommend popping in here. There's going to be something that you find that you think is cool. Guaranteed. Some model cars up on top. Oh, the Ecto-1. That's pretty cool. I actually think I had the one that was in the purple box, though. Isn't that funny? That's like... It's weird how when you see something, it like triggers a memory. You know? I was pretty freaking young probably when I had it, but... They got the Dragon Zord and the Megazords there. That's pretty cool. Oh, and the Green Ranger. That's a sweet set, actually. I've got the Black Ranger, same version. And I've got the Green Ranger and the 3-0, but I really like that. That's that's pretty cool. Hey, we've got some Star Trek up top. That's pretty cool. I've got that Klingon Attack Cruiser, actually, in my, ba my, in my basement at home, uh, which is really cool, as well as the Phaser. It's cool to see the box artwork with it, though. Now these shelves are pretty high up, so I apologize the angle's a little a little skewed here, guys. Uh, the shelf is probably 10 feet in the air, and I'm just over 6 foot, so I'm like fully reaching upwards <laughs> with my phone. Maybe 9 feet, but still, it's pretty tall. Some more figures over here. Oh, we got Lar uh, Lost up there. Lost is actually still one of my favorite television shows of all time. I know it's divisive. I know a lot of people freaking hated it. Uh, I loved it. It it also just represents a time period for me with friends uh, where we get together every Wednesday uh, and watch Lost. So and then we go to the bar and have some drinks. <laughs> it was a good time back in the day. Nintendo 64 in box. You love to see it. And this Darth Vader is actually pretty cool looking for 60 bucks. I'm not going to lie. And we even have Super Nintendo still new in box. Man, they're going for a costly amount at this point. Oh, look at the bazooka Super Nintendo controller. That is pretty cool. Gone with the wind. Interesting. Yeah, this store gives me very much a thrift store feel, but I love it. Like, these are the types of cases that you just never know what you're going to find inside, right? Great games in there. Donkey Kong 64 was a huge game for me back in the day. Played the heck out of that one. I love the yellow cartridge. I am hoping to find as well Sega Genesis Terminator. I don't have a Sega at the moment. I do want to buy one. But Terminator on the Sega Genesis was easily one of my favorite games back in the day. 
It was hard though, real hard. Oh, look at that, they've got Ghostbusters 1 and 2 here, as well as Batman, that's pretty sweet. And Zelda, gotta love some of the gold cartridges as well. What do we got in the games here? Jurassic Park, apparently it was a, a big thing. Lots of Jurassic Park games, old school uh, controllers, pretty decent. And of course, goes without saying, feel free to pause the video if you want to see anything extra in that case that I skipped by a little fast. That Santa just is old school. It just reminds me of back in the day, so I had to show that to you. And some of those comic boxes just to show you how filled some of them are. Oh, the glare on this is terrible. I apologize. Some cool G.I. Joe shit in here, though, so I can't not show you guys. But again, hoping you're seeing it at least on a big screen TV so you can see into the cabinet just a little bit easier. What is down below? Bugs Bunny in the back there. <laughs> hey, it's Gollum down below here in Lord of the Rings. Oh, we got Aragorn uh, in the back there as well. A little hard to see him. Again, glare. Apologies. Very cool Wolverine balloon. I'm so freaking excited that Deadpool 3 is going to have Wolverine in it with with Hugh Jackman too. Not just any random new cast, like Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds together in a film is going to be wicked. Cool old signs and popcorn buckets in here. This beast, I definitely had that as a kid. I remember having that in the bathtub. Like, that's how old that is. I was like 27. <laughs> Hate to see it. I mean, a lot of this I would never buy myself, but I do want to just show you guys what's here because it's, it's pretty cool. Got Heath Ledger up top. Doesn't really look like Heath Ledger, but I know what they're going for. Random ass plate and some Disney Rugrats. Oh my God, that's old school. Bert and Ernie shelf displays. Look at that Ken doll in the back there. That looks like it's straight ripped from the Toy Story movie. That's hilarious. Bacon cake shop. I should get that for Shauna. What else do we got? Oh, Smallville. You'll have to see it. It's amazing how with the you know, streaming services now, collecting DVDs and movies is, for me at least, just completely gone by the wayside. I used to collect them like crazy, uh, but now you don't really need to. All oh, the raisin guys, the Polly Pockets, oh my god, those are pretty cool still. These feel like hidden gems you'd find at like a garage sale, but like if it hits the nostalgia, it hits the nostalgia, right? What can I say? Random ass traffic light up top here. Again, might be cool for a collection room though, right? Old Coke bottles. What's down here? Different vehicles. There's like a spaceship in the back there. Some fighter jets. You know, I feel like if you got like this jet in the hands of my buddy, you know, Zach over at Collecting Weekly, you know, like he'd be able to put a wash on that that would make it look like it was fresh off the runway. Very, very cool. Lots of random cars, old cars. Taking you through again a little quick on this because there's a whole other figure wall that I'm excited to show you guys. There's a model kit up top here of, uh, of the Enterprise. You'll love to see it. Triumph. My dad had a Triumph for years. I should consider getting that for him now that he's retired. Give him something to do. Whole selection of random Guitar Hero and Rock Band guitars. As well as some more ceiling floaty items, kind of random. There's this whole section of books in the back too. It looks a little less organized than it feels in the store, I will say. But check this case out. This is a whole side of old school G.I. Joe's. Now some of the prices on these are actually pretty epic. It makes me wonder, you know, for all the collecting friends that I have, how many of us have a toy box? With some of these guys in there that have some actual value and we just forgot that they're there entirely right like that's crazy to think about i definitely had some of these back in the day 
very cool. It's interesting how some of them range from like 15 bucks to like 90, like clearly some of them are way harder to find than others. I really like how they've got them packaged though. Oh, look at this guy. He's got like a centipede body. I don't know who that is. G.I. Joe, is, even though I had them as a kid, it, it was it was a little bit before my time still. I was born in 87, so like it was still a little bit before my time for sure. This is my jam though. Some of the old school Batman and Robin figures. We've got some X-Men in here. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh yeah, I definitely had a couple of these guys. Especially the Batmans. I had a lot of the Batmans back in the day. Very cool. Some of the Green Lantern core, that's pretty decent. That Aquaman looks a little more jacked than I would expect for that version of Aquaman. Oh my god, look at the uh, the Hugh Jackman Wolverine there from the movie. Oh yeah, I also had that red camo Batman. Cool. Oh, Planet of the Apes in there even. Then on this side of the same display case, we've got different games, which I think is really cool. Some of the Game Boy games. And like the prices range here. Like some of them I think are like, wow, that seems expensive. But again, I'm not sure the rarity of some of these. So I'm sure that they're priced well. I still have the old school Game Boy in my collection as well. I haven't tried it though in years. I wonder if it still works to be honest. And it's missing, of course, the battery compartment. So from the back of the store, looking through the store, this is kind of what you'll see. But as I said, I'm at the back wall. We still have a whole figure wall left to go. But I'd noticed these as I was kind of walking around the corner. There's some literally Top Gun themed, uh, looks like right like BB rifles or some kind of air rifle up top. Very cool. Anybody needs a horse for their Deadpool? You can get it. It's also a badass old phone. I'm going to show this to Shauna. I wonder if she'd you know, want that in, a, in the house. She's been wanting an old school looking phone in the house, even though I refuse to buy a phone line. Scott! Scott Evil. You'll love to see it. Biff down below. Very nice. <laughs> Groot socks. Nice. Interesting. Very interesting assortment of stuff in here. Spawn figures, but like the OG ones, that's pretty cool. Oh, look at that predator in behind too. That's awesome. Bunch of Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels are not really my thing as you guys have heard me say before, but again, some of the boxes of comics that are in this store, so. If it's something that you want me to come back for and look, definitely let me know. But again, look at what we're in for still here, coming up. Oh my god, the mini-me up top. And that Dr. Evil is actually pretty cool. I'm digging that. I don't think I ever had any of these little Batmans, though. I don't, or like that Batman DC version. I, I don't recognize the packaging on that. Spider-Force transforming. Very cool. Some more X-Men figures down here below. That Nightcrawler is decent. Oh, I like this uh, Gambit as well. Mr. Fantastic. Very classic. I am very excited to see the Fantastic Four, though, in Marvel coming up. I do think that they're going to do it well. And if they use John Krasinski, again, I think... You know, I think you got kind of the short end of the stick in Multiverse of Madness. Um, I hope he's smarter in the real multiverse. I hope that was just kind of a, an alternate version of him that just wasn't as smart as the Reed Richards that we all know and love, of course. The leader is pretty cool there. And the Abomination is also pretty cool, especially now that we've seen Abomination appear in She-Hulk. Look a little different, but still very cool. Got some signed art print uh, or pictures below here. Neelix uh, from Star Trek Voyager. Love to see that. 
stealth venom is also kind of cool it caught my eye sorry uh yeah we got other pictures here as well that are signed so yeah neelix um ethan phillips very cool actor very talented for sure apparently a gem of a person as well i've been told and then of course doctor who up above love to see it what other figures are over here oh, we saw that joker already some walking dead masters of the universe decent yeah we've seen some of these at other locations so but again a lot of these are new i've not, like not new but new to the collection tours i have not seen some of these you just never know with toy hunting right when you're toy hunting you have to kind of go in with a bit of an open mind or you have to go in for something very specific because when i start seeing these things you, you start realizing how many things you want to buy but it's like is it really practical to buy all this stuff no <laughs> not for me anyways just depends on your collection though i think right lots of star wars in here though and i do love that they had a lot of star trek stuff in here batman gi joe's gentle giant uh mandalorian that's decent it's bigger than i would have expected i don't know if i've seen a gentle giant this close up and then some of of course star wars episode one i had like all these figures i was also just at the right age sweet spot wise uh when phantom menace came out and so you know toys were part of the part of the gig and star wars is like a license to print toys let's be honest oh they even have the comtech new in new inbox there that's pretty cool the a team very nice it's a cool cover actually i like that some of the eternals didn't love the movie but some of the books i've read from the eternals have been really good oh there's another name more up top shauna wants me to have that physique so i'm gonna go to the gym after this Iron Man. Oh, I've got that Wolverine top secret book. Oh, that Daredevil cover right there is pretty decent. Oh, I really like that actually as well. Spider-Man 2099 cover is cool. Now I apologize, there's a whole counter in front of me here, guys. So this is about as close as I can get to this wall, but at least you can get kind of the feel for it all very very cool stuff lightsabers up top i do want to start a lightsaber collection at some point i'm just nervous to go down that road because again there's a lot of really cool sabers and if you get the more expensive ones you're paying you're paying a good amount of money for that to come to the collection so I'd want to have a really good space for it, a really good display. Random assortment in this front case. We're getting kind of close back to the front of the store here again. Oh, we got some Star Trek cards down below and some Walking Dead. That's interesting. Lots of Pokemon here. Don't I don't know a lot about Pokemon. So if there's anything here that you guys want me to focus on or come back and look at, let me know. Yeah, all pretty cool stuff, I will say. And then they've got some graded cards down here below. I was actually talking to Chris Letty about that recently. He has been collecting uh, cool cards. Uh, something that i didn't even realize was that collector like market focused but very cool very very cool oh look at some of the old wrestlers too ah uh, there you go i <laughs> definitely had some of those guys back in the day very very cool guys i loved this store this is pretty much the end of the video what did you think what were your thoughts was there anything in here that's a hidden gem that i should really consider bringing into my collection uh or not there's a batman the animated series figure up there uh, I've got that Joker, but I don't have that Harley, so um, I'm, one might need to come off the shelf and have a closer look at. But if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button, smash the subscribe, let's get the store some attention online, let's see if we can get them some deals, uh, and definitely connect with them in the future. They're great folks here. Again, this is Treasure Cove Collectibles in Airdrie, Alberta. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll catch you on the next one.